Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech looking at From the Vault Angels coming out in August. This looks really, really cool. Recently, I did do a video on the top 10 EDH angels, and I was very tempted to just take that other video, reskin it, and call it my predictions. But I'm actually going to be looking at some of the more competitive angels that are out there and some of the angel adjacent cards, cards that aren't actually angels but could very easily fit into this set along with my personal favorites from EDH, because EDH is the best casual format out there. The artwork on this just looks incredible. I recommend that everybody take a second here and try to guess what card this is and what other cards will be in the set so that you can compare them with my guesses to come. Also, I really like this new symbol that they're doing. The wings with the V looks very, very nice. I am a little bit concerned about the foiling process. They have this extra shiny foiling process that they use for From the Vaults. It's not good. I didn't care for it, particularly in From the Vault 20, where your perfect fits would shear off some of the black on From the Vault cards. I would be very careful with this set when you pick one up before putting them in perfect fits. I wouldn't take them in and out of perfect fits unless the process has changed from the years past. This is also a time to reestablish or reinforce your connection with your local game store. You're only going to get these through a local game store or online for a ridiculous amount above the value. Local game stores will get 10 to 20 of these. You should obviously be supporting your local game store because that's where the community is. That's where people go to play Magic. But this is an opportunity for you to talk to that owner, make sure that you've got a good relationship with them over the next few months before this comes out. I like that this is a exclusive distributorship through the stores where Magic is actually played. There are so many angels out there, I don't even know where to start. I know that I'm probably going to leave your favorite angel off of the list. If my list here and the comments that I have have missed your favorite angel or one that you really want to see in this set, definitely leave it in the comments. Also, if you have your own guess over which 15 angels are going to be in the set, please leave that also. I would love to compare the differences between our guesses. I'm going to start with my personal favorite. I hope Sarah Angel is in here. I know she's been reprinted several times, but she has such warm memories for me as a kid. She was the win condition in my Control Stasis deck, which I played in Vintage before it was called Vintage. I played the misprinted Sarah Angel for a while also with your Time Elemental artwork on it. This is a wonderful card. I really like it. It has lost some of its power level as years have gone forward and angels have gotten stronger, but it's a classic that really started people and endured them towards angels long term. There are some really good competitive angels out there. Restoration Angel is on the top of my list right now in Modern. It is an incredible card. It could be a staple for years to come. Blinking things like Siege Rhinos or Kitchen Finxes is really, really useful. Entreat the Angels is the number one angel card in Legacy, although Geist of St. Traft has seen its day also. Baneslayer Angel is really popular in Modern, just a great card. And Sarah Ascendant is another really strong angel adjacent card. Even Angel's Grace sees some play in the ad nauseum decks. Really crazy deck. I'll go over the combo another time. And Celestial Colonnade is just another competitive card I would like to see reprinted, and it would be a good way to get a land into this set. There are a lot more non-angels than I realized. Angelic Destiny is a great EDH card. Really nice, would be a wonderful inclusion in this set. And Decree of Justice has been printed a few times recently, but is one of my favorite EDH cards. Celestial Mantle is also another crazy card in EDH, doubling your life total. Kalia has got to be one of the most popular commanders to come out of any of the commander product out there. I don't think we're going to see Geist of St. Traft just because Geist was recently reprinted, but it wouldn't hurt me to see Geist in this, as Geist is a powerhouse in modern and a wonderful card to play even in Legacy. EDH has its share of incredibly powerful angels. Blinding Angel is one of my favorites, while Avacyn, Angel of Hope, 
is a fan favorite across the board. As I mentioned, I've got a whole video on EDH Angels, but Maelstrom Archangel is one that I would really like to see with new artwork, and Bolt of the Archangel would make a nice combo inside of the particular set. Lots of different colors have great angels, including the colorless with Platinum Angel. These are my actual 15 guesses. Bolt of the Archangel is a land with Platinum Angel as an artifact. All the colors are represented here. It was a little bit tough finding a green one because there are no mono green angels, or at least I couldn't find any. It is a little heavy on the white here, but it's from the Vault Angels. You would, should expect it to be heavy on white cards. I would also be really happy to see any of these three included. Limbala is a modern powerhouse that really needs a reprint. This would be a great way to get her more copies into the modern environment. Karmic Guide is a very popular EDH card, and Avacyn is popular across the board with casual players. The other thing that I would really like to see in this set is an Angel Token. There are so many token generators out there. A Foil Angel Token would be way too cool. It was extremely popular when they had Angel Tokens in the Hell Vaults. I believe that the token itself would be worth more than two-thirds of the angels in the pack. People really like tokens, and foil tokens are a really underexplored area in Magic. Now, there's been a notable exception in this video. I've been avoiding talking about Iona. Iona's wonderful in Legacy, where you've got Force of Will to deal with her, but she really needs to be banned in EDH. If Iona is printed in this set, and Iona is still legal in EDH, I will microwave that Iona for you and catch it on videotape. Please help me get Iona banned in EDH. She's the most miserable angel to play against. But I don't want to end on a negative note here. If there's one takeaway from this video, hope to see an angel token in there. That would really make my day. Thanks, this has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech. Also, thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. I just added some more pack openings to the channel. At the $2 level, there's five pack openings left where you will get the cards from the pack opening and I'll open it live on the channel. And at the $5 level, your name will be added to the credits as somebody who supports the channel. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it.